In Washington tonight, all eyes are on the House Republican caucus as a disagreement within the ranks pushes the nation another day closer to a government shutdown. Our Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron is following the developments. Well, this is definitely not how most House Republicans wanted to see this play out. Ideally, they would unify behind a conservative funding proposal, giving them real leverage in negotiating a compromise with the Democrat-controlled Senate. But there is no GOP unity right now. These are, um, you know, difficult conversations. There are some disagreements. Disagreements over what the top-line number for discretionary spending should be in the new fiscal year. The $1.59 trillion Speaker McCarthy and the President agreed to in the debt ceiling deal. The $1.47 trillion hardline conservatives put in the Limit, Save, Grow Act. Can we meet somewhere in the middle? That's the conversation right now um, that we're looking to try to um, come to some sort of agreement on. The stopgap measure House leaders announced this weekend set the top line at one five nine. Republican Study Committee Chair Kevin Hearn says that was too high for 20 or so conservatives, so today he offered an amendment to lower it to 147. We've already had uh, those 20, we've already had many of those say they will come over and support the continuing resolution because of our amendment. But Democrats are not at all convinced that those stirring the pot plan to stop anytime soon. House Republicans are leading the country towards a government shutdown because their only priority is to hurt President Biden politically and to help reelect Donald Trump. Oklahoma members say that is far from being true, but some do say the actions of a few are causing frustration for most. We're 11 days uh, from a potential shutdown, and I think most of us want to try to do what we can to avoid that. Well, certainly no one wants a government shutdown, but it's quite clear that some Republicans feel that if it takes a shutdown to get what they're fighting for, then it's worth it. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.